In this video I'm going to look at another type of covalent bond. So because it's a covalent bond it's still effectively a shared pair of electrons between the atoms but it's a different type of bond in the way that the electron pairs are being shared or how they're being shared. This bond has two names. It's sometimes referred to as the coordinate bond or the date of covalent bond. So both of these names refer to this other type of covalent bond. This bond is seen in the ammonium ion, so that's NH4+. That's what I'm going to use as my example. So the ammonium ion is formed between the ammonium molecule, so there's the dot and cross diagram for the ammonium molecule with the lone pair of electrons, and the hydrogen ion, the H plus ion, which has no electrons at all. Hydrogen has one electron, the atom has one electron. The H plus ion, well, the hydrogen atom's given that electron away and become positively charged as a result. How could these two particles um, form some kind of covalent bond? So on the right there, I've drawn up the dot and cross diagram for the ammonium ion, and you can see those three original covalent bonds in this blue ammonium molecule here. The new bond you can see here is, it's still a covalent bond between the nitrogen and the hydrogen, they're still sharing this pair of electrons, but both of the electrons have actually originated from the nitrogen. So this is the new type of covalent bond. So it's a coordinate bond or a date of covalent bond because the shared pair of electrons have come from the same atom. And on the left now, you may also see the ammonium ion drawn like this. So we've got those single covalent bonds from the original ammonium molecule and we've got this new date of covalent bond and we're showing the pair of electrons that's been provided by the nitrogen as an arrow. So this nitrogen is providing this pair of electrons for this new NH bond here. We've still got charge because it's made from NH3 which is neutral and an H plus ion. So the product must still carry that positive charge. So that's why we wrap it in the square brackets and the charge top right hand corner. The word dative originates from Latin, um, the Latin verb to give, which is datare. So you can see the origin there, the nitrogen is effectively giving both of its electrons for this covalent bond and hence this word dative. I love stuff like that, mate. 